you're back. This is Maddie and Me. It's all about hand, foot, mouth disease. Welcome to Maddie and Me. I'm Mandy, and this is Maddie. Woo! Hand, foot, mouth disease. What is that? Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Maddie got hand, foot, and mouth a couple weeks ago. Now, girl doesn't go to daycare, so I'm pretty sure she got it from the park. And it is one of those things that I didn't know what it was at first. And yeah, this was right after daylight savings. And I thought, oh, okay, maybe she's just a little off with daylight savings and all of that. And so she basically, that Sunday of daylight savings, friggin' slapped the whole day basically on me. Would not let me put her down, just wanted to snuggle in. She threw up all over me and I was like, whoa. And she had like a little fever. She really wasn't eating. So I was like, oh, she must have just gotten a little bug. No biggie. The next day, she seemed to be a little bit better. She was not sleeping well at night and like I was bringing her into bed and snuggling with her. And that, it was like that night or the night after, she just like tossed and turned all night on me and all of that. And she, that day, she was like super, super, um, like drooly and Maddie's not drooly even when she gets teeth in even pre she like never drooled that much drool and she started to get these little like this little rash around her mouth so I thought oh it's because she's drooling so much she hasn't gotten these two teeth in I thought maybe they were coming in you know my husband and I even went out that evening and she seemed fine like she kind of like went to bed a little early but the babysitter she was said she was fine again she came into our bed again and like she was in our bed she's like just all up on me right then Tuesday, like I noticed like a little rash on her bum, but I thought like, oh, she didn't poop at all on Monday. She didn't really poop that much Sunday. So like she pooped a lot on Tuesday. I thought like maybe she got a little diaper rash. Wednesday, not only does she have the rash still on her face and her bum, she's starting to get it on her feet and her hands. And so like I took a picture of it and I sent it to my mom. I was like, what do you think this is? And she was like, hand, foot, and mouth disease. Look it up. <sighs> guys, guys. Yeah, that's exactly, exactly what it was. Talk to the doctor, all of that. They're like, she's like, you should take, you know, once once the rash sets in, it's like, that's kind of it. It's like goes its course. I had been putting like Aquaphor and like healing ointment and stuff on it. I looked up some home remedies and saw that coconut oil is a really good thing. So I started putting that on her face and it like really started to clear it up, really started to clear up. Put it on her bum, on her feet. It was really like the worst of it was on her bum. Poor little thing on her bum bum. Just like a really, really like sores. Like poor thing. She didn't even, she didn't want to go in the bath because it hurt her bum. I don't blame her. Poor thing. Poor thing. Learning about hand, foot, and mouth. The healing ointment was clutch. I was putting it on all the time and the coconut oil was clutch. Once they were there and like I started putting the coconut oil on them, they really healed up, healed up really, really well. Just took, I mean, it took a little bit. Like basically the doctor was like, oh, once they show up, it's like seven days and they'll go away and keep away from children, blah, 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 all of that. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that my husband and I would get hand, foot, and mouth, which we did not get hand, foot, and mouth, but she did give it to our babysitter and our babysitter gave it to her roommate. Poor things, poor things. Apparently it's worse than adults. I had a friend who said her husband got it when their babe got it. Did little did it? Didn't, I didn't know it all. Maddie was, like I said, all up on me sleeping. She couldn't sleep in her own bed, so she'd sleep there for a little bit and then she'd wanna come into bed with me and snuggle. She would just snuggle all up against me. Never did I think that I could get hand, foot, and mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hand, foot, and mouth, it's just one of those things that it's like you kinda don't realize that they're getting it. I guess if they start to get the sores after getting sick like that, you're like, oh man, oh man, but it's got to run its course. It's got to run its course. So if your babe gets it, some sort of healing ointment like an Aquaphor, Cervi, one of those, and coconut oil. Those were our friends. They made her feel so, so much better. Be careful. Don't spread it, guys. Don't spread it. I hope we didn't spread it to anybody. I felt really bad. I didn't even realize that it was hand, foot, and mouth until it was too late because that's what happens. You don't realize it's hand, foot, and mouth until it's too late when the sores start to come on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm Mandy, subscribe to Maddie and me for more of our journey and cold and flu time. These new things that your babes get like hand, foot, and mouth who's experienced it, be on the lookout for it if you haven't. Yeah, kids, yeah.